What's up, you two? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a 3x3 speed queue. Now, just so you know, this one work on something like a GAN queue. So this is a 354M. And uh, for this tutorial, it won't work well on this key, on any GAN 3x3 because again, any GAN 3x3 has a different core mechanism, me mechanism than any other 3x3 speed queue. So I recommend you to use any non-GAN speed queue for this tutorial. So the cube I'm going to be using in this video is this MF3R S3M. All right, but I'm just going to be using this in this video because it kind of has some spring noise and uh, it hasn't been, been lubed in a while and it's pretty dirty inside as you can see here. So the first step in, this, in setting up the 3x3 is to disassemble the cube. So rotate the top 45 degrees and try to pop out an edge. Just like that. Then just take out these two corners and then just disassemble the cube. This. Now that I have my cube disassembled, I'm going to put the pieces aside and now I'm going to unscrew all the screws. So I have to take off all the center caps. Oh. And, that, and then we're going to unscrew all the screws. So. We're going to uh, just rotate it counterclockwise. Once you have all the screws unscrewed and you have only this core left, you're going to wipe all the pieces down with your cloth. Yes, this is a really tedious and unfun task, but it's also really important because your cubes come with factory lube. And uh, the factory lube creates all dust and uh, to re-lube your cube, you need to get rid of all the dust from the pieces. Now you're going to take one of your center, pie center pieces and then take out the screw and the spring. Now if your cube has a washer, you just want to leave it there and then put like uh, some, some lube uh, where this washer is. So in this hole right there. Just like that. Now you're also going to put some lube on the screw and the spring. So you're going to just draw a line like this. And then you're going to put some lube like on the on the face of the screw. Now you're going to put your lube aside, and you're going to fit the uh, the the screw and the spring into the center piece, and you're going to take your core and put some lube around this circle area, so like this, oh. and then just put the the center piece with the screw and the spring in, and just screw it back. So I'm going to take my screwdriver and just going to screw it back in. And just do that process for the five other pieces, for the other five center pieces. So it took me a while to uh, put the center with the screw and the spring into the core, as you can see here. And now you're on the second to last step, is to reassemble the cube. So you're going to take an edge and then fit it into two centers. Then you want to put another edge, one to fit it into the two centers. 
pretty hard. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a coin in there in this slot. So this coin. And then I'm gonna fit in an edge. And then you're just going to repeat this process. So we're going to have an edge, then a corner, then an edge, point edge, until you end up here. So basically you have an edge left, but we're going to be doing something differently. We're going to assemble the opposite layer. So we're going to put an, an edge right here. Then we're going to put a corner, an edge, a corner, uh, edge. Then we're going to put two corners. And in this gap, we're going to fit in the edge that needs to go here. So you're just going to push it in. Then you're going to put the edge that needs to go here. So you're going to rotate the top and just push it in like that. Now here's the final step. We're going, we're going to be checking our tension. So if you think your cube is too loose, you can just tighten it like this, like this way. Or if your cube is too tight, you can uh, loosen it a bit. And once you're done finding the right tendons for the cube, you're just going to put in the center caps. Now here's one additional thing you can do. So we're going to put some lube right here, and that's going to draw some lube onto the corner. And you can do that for all the corners. After you lube these corners, you just want to wipe off all the lube that's on the surface of your cube. Yeah. And then you're just going to try out the turning. The turning may be a bit gummy. But once you start uh, turning it more, like performing lots of algorithms uh, or doing like a bunch of 3 by 3 solves, then all the lube will just spread around the cube and it'll turn out fantastic, in my opinion. So after completely setting up my 3x3D MF3RS3M, it is fantastic. It is smooth, doesn't lock up a ton, and I'm hearing zero spring noise. I've done a bunch of solves on, this, on my MF3RS3M, and they were pretty good in my opinion. So that is it for my video on how to set up a 3x3 speed cube. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.